It's the largest and possibly most controversial scientific experiment ever attempted. When this gigantic machine is switched on tomorrow, it should bring us a step closer to finding out what we're made of and how the universe works. The statistics of the Super Collider are truly mind-boggling. Situated 300 feet underneath the French-Swiss border, CERN's Large Hadron Collider cost a total of £4.4 billion pounds and is designed to recreate the conditions that existed less than a billionth of a second after the universe was created. Scientists will fire atomic particles around the 17-mile circular tunnel at almost the speed of light before smashing them headlong into each other. That will create temperatures 100,000 times hotter than the centre of the sun. We're trying to find out what everything is made of, what we are made of, the smallest pieces inside us, every atom. Now, the universe, we're also trying to understand how the universe started. We're trying to understand what happened shortly after the Big Bang, and we need to look at these tiny particles to understand that better. For those still struggling to understand, the scientists behind the project have devised their own way of explaining how it works. But not everyone is taking the experiment so lightly. Opponents fear that in trying to discover the origins of the universe, we could be setting up its destruction. They argue that the machine could create little black holes which would eventually swallow the Earth. The creators of the Large Hadron Collider insist it is safe. Don't worry at all. I mean, the type of collisions we're doing underground happen all the time. And nature does this every day, many, many times, and there's no danger from it. What we're doing that's different is we're doing these collisions in a controlled underground environment where we can watch what comes out and learn from it rather than just have them happen in nature where they essentially happen randomly. Whatever this experiment will reveal about our past or lead to in our future won't be immediately obvious. After tomorrow's switch on, it will be several weeks before the first particles are collided together. Scientists are hopeful they will have initial results within months. That's providing, of course, the whole thing works. After billions of pounds and ten years of planning, they can't afford for it not to. Orlishinawi, Sky News.